back in the shop. I uh, spent the last couple of months turkey hunting here in Alabama and went to Texas. And uh, when you're turkey hunting, you have a lot of opportunity to sit there and think because you got to be real patient hunting turkey. Anyway, I was, I was making a call and I thought, man, I believe I can make one of these. So I got to looking at it while I was sitting there waiting on the turkey and did a lot of thinking about it. So the season's over with, so I'm out in the shop going to see if I can make the turkey call. The first thing that I thought about on my lay is, well, i got to have some way to mount it, <clears throat> mount the blank, the piece of wood, to the leg. Come up with a glue block. The face plate mounts to a piece of wood and then you turn it down and uh, you uh, take your the wood that you're going to make the call out of and you glue it to this this piece of wood here and then uh, with it glued to it so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm going to face this up just a little bit this was an old wood block that I had Put it on here. I'm gonna true everything up and uh, get my blank and glue it to the uh, to this piece of wood. Well, I got my my blank. This is hickory, real pretty piece of wood. But if you notice right here, there's a little void where a knot was, and I got a few cracks. So I'm gonna take the CA glue and just fill those in it'll actually be stronger than the wood when i get done with it so y'all just hang on just a second this is just medium ca glue takes about 30 minutes for it to dry or you can use this accelerator right here activator or whatever you want to call it but i'm just going to fill these these cracks up you really won't be able to notice this when when we get done and there's a a void right there so it may take me two or three times to fill that void up with all these little cracks i'm just gonna reinforce them so that's, uh, that's going to take a little while. And then I'll find my center, draw my lines, and uh, I need to go ahead and drill my holes in it. Uh, but I'll get back with you guys on that in just a few minutes. All right, I'm fixing to drill these holes. I've got a quarter inch Forstner bit. A lot of turkey calls have the bigger holes. I was going to go with the smaller holes on this one. So, And I've decided I'm just going to drill about it. About a quarter of an inch deep, still all the way through. This makes it a little easier about about drilling. I'm gonna get eight holes spaced out around this thing. One more hole. I'm gonna carry it over to the bandsaw and cut these corners off so when I'm on the lathe, it won't take so long to get this thing in and round. Okay, I've decided instead of just cutting the corners off, I'm gonna I'm gonna go around in a circle just to stay in leaving the line, and that way I can uh, cut it down to the line on the lathe. Looks a little bit like a turkey call, don't it? Well, see a little issue right here. Now I've got a big, big hole in the middle of that knot. 
I'm going to have to do something about that. I don't know if I can fix this or not, but I'm going to try. I went and got me some of the dust off the bandsaw. I'm just going to drop a little CA glue in there and just try to fill this thing up. I May make a mess. May make a mess here. I don't know if this is going to work out for me or not. It kind of goes back this way into this hole, so I might have to. Once I finish this up, I might have to go back and drill that hole out just a little bit. Amen. Never tried this before, but it, it might work. Well, I had to get a little bit bigger shavings here. I'm going to try to stuff this hole up with it. Try to fill some of that void maybe maybe that'll work i hope so i'm gonna glue my waste block on now i saw a little tip on youtube about lining stuff up i, I didn't want to center punch this this block just because that's just going to be more sandy so i've got my center line there what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this coat hanger and I've ground it down. It's got a little point on it. I'm going to put my CA glue, spray the activator, and then line this up on my center line and put a little pressure on it and just let it drop down. And it'll be right in the center. All right, let's see how this works out. I'm using medium CA glue. Just put me a pretty good bead all the way around. Put my coat hanger in the hole I drilled in the center of this. Spray this with activator. Turn it over. Put it on my center line and drop it down. She's stuck. But I'm going to let it sit there for a few minutes and cure out real good. We're ready to mount it on the lathe. And it's this uh, face plate. Just screw it on. Tighten it up real good. And I'm just going to get, make it round. 1800 RPMs. Alright, let's, let's make it round. What I'm using here is a tool that's got a carbide tip on it. And I'm just going to take just very small cuts. Oh yeah, we good now. All right, now what I got to do is I got to face, make sure everything's flat here, so I got to face that off, and I'm just gonna do that with my party coat. Perfect. Now my piece of slate is three and a quarter inches, so 
or right at three and a quarter. So what I do is I, I just kind of sneak up on it here and keep fitting my piece of slate in, make sure it's gonna, gonna fit right. Just using my parting tool. Alright, I know it's got to be a little bit wider than this because I, I know I'm going to have about an eighth of an inch left on the edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some of this out. Check this, see where I'm at. Piece of slate. Still got a little more to take off. I'm just gonna sneak up on this so I'll get a good fit. Right there. That's it. Just gotta go a little bit deeper for the glue lip. Check that, see if my depth's about right. We're good. Now I want about an eighth of an inch of uh, lip there so I can run a bead of glue and glue this thing in. I'm gonna go about right there. All right, I had to do a little more repair work on this blank uh, I'm turning for this turkey call. That, uh, that hole in that knot right there, I had to fill it in a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down just a little bit more and uh, take a look at it and see, what's, uh, see if it's salvageable or not. my holes showing up now. I'm about right there. Okay, everything looks good. Ready to sand. Should be good right there. I use a paste to finish this Triple E Ultra Shine. But I'll just uh, take it on. And I'll buff it. Creates a little heat. Makes it shine up pretty good. Speed up a little bit. You want to create a little heat here, just uh, make it really shine. Okay, now let's reverse this. The way I do this is I just take the saw and cut this, cut this call off.
you can see where I cut the uh, the block off instead of the hickory. It's my cold jaws. It just attaches to my my chuck. Make sure it's flat against the face. It is turning a lot slower, so I want to just take, take my time here. After I fixed that spot on the inside of the call, I, yesterday afternoon, I decided I was just going to let it sit overnight. And, uh, came back out this morning to finish this thing up. So started at 150, going through 600. Get my triple E back out. finish on that. I've decided I'm going to put a popular soundboard in that call. But I've got to uh, get my thickness down a little bit on this piece of poplar here. I'm just going to do it on my, my sander, my bench top sander. Glued me a little block on. Well, I didn't glue it. I used double sensitive tape just so I can hold it. It's going to take a little while. I've got to get it down to about a eighth, maybe three sixteenths. So I'll be back. Got it down to three sixteenths. I think I'm gonna go with that. Right there. All right, I'm gonna cut that out. Leave the leave the line and dress it up on the sander. Okay, I got my popper soundboard cut down. Uh, it fits real good, so I'm just going to glue it in. I use this uh, E6000. It's a flexible glue. That way, if you know if the wood were to, to move any, and I don't expect it to, but it'll give just a little bit. So I just put me a good good bead on the on the pedestal. Lay the soundboard in here. Get centered just right. And put me a couple of clamps on it. And I'll leave that clamp for about 30 minutes and then I'll glue the glue the slate in using the same glue been about an hour since I glued this up I had to run the air in. it's good and dry so now I'm gonna put the slate in but I use the same glue E6000 just run a bead around the top here you don't want a whole lot of this you don't want it to squeeze out the top but just keep an eye on it if it does squeeze out just take a 
wet cloth and, and uh, clean it up right there. And just drop your slate in. Line everything up. Couple clamps on it. And about 30 minutes, we'll see what it sounds like. Lowe's had plenty of time to dry. Call turned out pretty pretty nice. Let's uh, scuff up this slate. See if it'll make a sound. Too bad. A little, little deep sound. Maybe needs a little higher pitch, but uh, could be the striker I'm using. Sounds pretty good. Well, there you have it. I'm gonna put a couple coats of polyurethane on it just to kind of help protect it and uh, may go in my turkey hunting vest. Thank y'all for watching. Be sure to, to like the video and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment below. Turned out real good. Went ahead and burnt my name in the back of it there. Maybe next season try to call me up a turkey with it. <laughs>